Okay, so once again, here we are again in our tutorial, and today I'm going to demonstrate to you in our activity Fold Me Up. Okay, so this activity you need a piece of paper, a pen paper, and a scissors, a pair of scissors. Okay, so for our first activity, you are going to fold a piece of paper into half, so like this one. So after folding, you count the number of parts. So you count the number of parts. How many parts is it now? So you count. And then you write your answer on the table. So you're going to complete the table on letter B of your activity. So here, the number of fold is 1. So bring the first fold. Number of folds, number 2, the second fold. The number of fold, 3, the third fold. The number of folds, 4, the fourth fold. And number of folds five, the fifth fold, and then the number of parts, the number of bar parts on the first fold, you count the number of parts, and then the new number of pieces after you fold it, then the previous number of pieces before you fold it. Okay, so let us do it. Okay, so. <clears throat> on the first fold, how many parts? So you count the number of parts. Okay, so you have one, two. So there are two parts. So we're going to write our answer here. So the number of parts is two. Now what is the new number of pieces after you fold it so the number of pieces of course there are two pieces okay. the previous number of pieces before we fold it so before we fold it there is only one piece of paper so our answer here is one okay Fold it for the first time and then fold it again for the second time. So we will repeat step uh, step two and three. So fold it again for the second time. Okay. Now, after folding it, you count the number of parts. How many parts now? Okay, correct. There are four parts. So you have one, two, three, four. So there are four parts. The new number of pieces. So what is the new number of pieces? Of course, there are four. Then the previous number of pieces before we fold it for the second time, the previous number is, there are only two number of pieces. Next, fold it for the third time. So fold it again for the third time. So, how many number of parts now? So, let's count the number of parts. So, you have here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yes, there are 8 parts now. After we fold it, 4, 
the third time. And then the new number of pieces, also 8. And then the previous number of pieces, you have 4. So you just copy it here. I hope you see a pattern in our activity by, by folding it uh, continuously. So you're going to continue answering the number of folds number 4 and the number of folds number 5. And then you write your answer on your answer sheet. Or you can also comment your answer on the comment below. Okay. So let us have another activity. Okay, so this one. So again, we need a piece of paper. Uh, before we proceed, let us uh, read first our uh, steps or procedures. Number one, start with a big square from a piece of paper. Assume that the area of the square is 64 units. Fold the four corners to the center of the square and find the area of the resu resulting square. Repeat the process three times and record the results in the table below. Okay, so, this is our table. Now, so, the area of the square is 64. Now, we need a piece of paper again. So, here it is. As you can see, our band paper is in rectangular shape. How are we going to make this into a square? Okay, so to make this into a square, we are going to fold the diagonal. We fold it diagonally, like this one. So the diagonal of the square, the diagonals of the squares are congruent. So the diagonals of the squares are congruent. So that is one property, one of the properties of a square. The diagonals are congruent. Four sides also congruent. So after we fold it, so this is a long size band paper and we will going to transform this into a square. So we will cut the the exist part of this band paper. Okay, so of course using scissors. Okay. So, here it is. We have now a square out of a rectangular uh, piece of paper. From a long size band paper, we made a square by folding the diagonal and then cutting the excess part of the band paper. So, what is the instruction? The big square, this one, the area is 64. So this is the square number 1. So we're going to write the area here, 64. 64. So that is now our answer for the first. And then, fold the four corners to the center of the square and find the area of the resulting square. How are we going to find the center of the square? So again, we're going to fold the other two corners diagonally. Like this one. Okay. 
So, the intersection of the diagonals, that is now the center of the square here. And then, we're going to fold the corner here to the center. So, its corner will be folded to the corner, uh, to the center. <clears throat> okay, so here it is now. After we fold the corners to the center, we have now a new square. So this is now square number 2. Now what is now the area of square number 2? Okay. What have you noticed with our new square? What is the relationship of the, this, uh, this one now is the smaller square. What is the relationship of the smaller square to the original square, the big one? What do you think is the relationship? What have you observed now? How many squares do we have? If we are going to... Uh, to connect these parts here, these four corners. Now we already have two, two squares. Then the relationship of this smaller square to the bigger square is yes, one half. So the smaller square is one half of the bigger square, of the big square. So, if the area of the big square is 64, what is now the area of the smaller square if it is one half of its size? Correct. The area is 32. So, that is 64 divided by 2. Now, for the third time, we are going to fold again the corners of these squares to the center. Okay, so let us do it now. Okay, so here it is. We have now the third square, which is also smaller to the second square. And what is then the relationship of this th third square to the second square? Yes, still it is one half. One half, the, thir the third square is one half of the second square. So if the second square is, the area is 32, what is now the area of the third square? Correct. The area is 16. So I hope you see a pattern in our activity and continue. Folding the square up to the sixth, the sixth square. So you do it. Fold for the fourth time. That is the fourth square. The fifth square. And then the sixth square. And then you complete the table by answering the area of the succeeding square. I hope you enjoy our activity today. And... Have a nice day.